Hello and welcome back to MindMed Training. We are doing a core and glute TRX workout. By integrating mindful and physical therapy principles, we can effectively strengthen those muscle groups while promoting overall body awareness, alignment, and functional movement patterns. Let's get started with the TRX in a mid-thigh length and we'll be facing the anchor point to start. The feet in a shoulder width distance, the elbows in a right angle, and then inhale. Feel grounded on your feet, lengthen through the top of the head, and exhale, roll down your spine. Vertebra by vertebra, extending the arms forward, and then take a big stretch here to inhale. And then exhale, roll back up. Pressing your feet into the ground, spreading the toes out, feeling grounded and connected, lengthened. Inhale. And then exhale, roll down. Now connect to your abs, connect to your glutes, stretch them out. And then rolling up, pulling your navel deep into your spine. And inhale. Exhale, roll down. And on the next exhale, rolling back up. And then we'll stay up here. Connect your pelvic floor into your abdomen. Connect your navel into your spine, making sure you have the right distance here to just pull back a little bit. So you have a light weight, a light pull in the hands. Most of the weight in the feet, in the legs. Sitting your sit bones far back. Warming up your legs warming up your glutes, feeling your pelvic floor engaging between your sit bones. Breathing through it, enhancing the ab work with your breath. Every exhale is an opportunity to pull your navel into your spine. Now think your knees apart, engaging the gluteus medius abductors. And then stay down in your squat and go down an inch and up an inch, down an inch and up an inch. Light on the hands, most of the weight in the legs, working into your glutes, into your thighs, Engaging nicely in your core. Pull your shoulders back. Lengthen through your neck. And then just lift one heel and keep on going. Inch down, inch up, inch down, inch up. Now you'll feel more work in the left buttock where you have the fat, the full flat foot pressing down some more weight in that side and then switch. And we'll have five more, four, three, two, and one. And then both heels down and coming up, reaching up tall. And then exhale, rolling down. And then walk yourself forward and take the arms all the way around. Inhale and exhale. Extend forward, flat back. Inhale, roll, round and flexed in the spine. And then extend, light touch on the TRX. We're working the glutes, the hamstrings, back extensors. So you want to be very aware of the area around your sit bones. 
special focus and emphasis on your glutes while the back extensors are getting their fair share. Inhale. Work that whole posterior chain, which is of big functional importance. Stay mindful of your feet. Keep your toes long, just gently touching down, spread out and happy. Pull your abs deep inside. Last four. Three. Two. And one. And then slowly rolling up and then we'll go straight into a lunge here. Got the hands in the TRX and we'll go down into a deep lunge. Press down into the TRX and tap and tap, tap, tap. Now make sure your hips are on the same level. You want to Keep the awareness in that right hip, so the back side lifting, not to drop in there. By pushing into the TRX, you can activate some lats and some upper body core. And we'll hold it here, and then we'll have a cross and back, and a cross and back, and a cross and back, across. Now work the glutes in the left buttock. You need a lot of stability going on there. Four, three, two, and one. And then straighten both legs and take a stretch forward here. Try to pull the left hip back. Breathing deeply. Releasing tension. And then bend the knees, roll up and then switch legs. Ready for a deep lunge here. And tap and tap. Work both butt cheeks, lifting the left side up, keeping the hips level. Now make sure the front knee isn't traveling forward past the foot. Press into the TRX with your hands. Engaging lats, engaging abs. Four, three, two, and one. And then out and cross and cross and cross. Four, three, two, and one. And then straighten both legs and take a nice stretch here.
turn around. Hold on to the handles right next to you so you're standing upright. Step your left leg into the center, right leg back, inhale, and bend the standing leg just a little bit, and then we're just gonna tilt forward, and we're coming up, and tilt, working glutes in that standing leg. Pull the shoulders back, work your core. Four more, spreading the toes, three, present in that whole movement, in the whole body, two, and one, and then cross over, and take a stretch here. So we're stretching the right side now, in anticipation to be working the right side, and then we'll stretch the left side after that. Switching legs, so making sure that right foot really is in the center so that you're not gonna be pulled off. And then dive and pull up. And dive and pull up. Working your breath. Calm, but deep and intense. And last four. Three. Two, and one. And we're gonna cross over and now stretch the left side. Feeling into the glutes, trying to Find a calm balance here to release into the stretch and then release it and turn around again. Now we're just going to go into a curtsy to one side and to the other side and almost sticking your butt out to the back, uh, to the side and the back to really get into the glutes. Now floating the foot to create some more tension there. Feeling stable in the core, pulling it in. Whole body is engaged. The arms, the shoulders, Neck feels nice and long. Ribs are pulled in and connected into the abs. And we'll stay on one side and we'll pulse nice and deep. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back and we're gonna add some more squats here. We're gonna go even deeper down. And now really press the floor away with a ton of awareness. 
Feel those glutes, hamstrings, quads. And even more leaning towards the fast down and the slow up. So fast down and then slowly pushing up. And fast down, slowly pushing up. And down, push. Down, push. Down fast, pushing the floor away. Getting that energy from the floor. And feel that in your core, in your pelvic floor. Leading, feeding into your abs, into your deep abdomen. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Leading into a nice roll down. And then stretch out one leg and bend the other knee. And switch. Bending both knees, rolling up. And then we're gonna get into some core work, lengthening the TRX to a mid-calf length. Stand here in front of the TRX. You can hold on to just the straps wherever you feel it works for you to just kind of hook in, inhale, and then exhale, slowly roll down, pulling your navel in, just being very aware of your alignment and just kind of following down here. And then bending the knees and you're ready for your feet to go in and onto your forearms. Now here you want to lightly engage the glutes, but they're still present and strongly engage the core, strongly engage your arms, your shoulders to lift the knees. And you're just gonna lift and lower and lift and lower to have a moment to really deepen the awareness of the core, pulling the abdominal wall in, making sure you don't have any pressing out, any loss of control in your abdominal wall while you lift. You want to squeeze your organs towards your back. Keep it all compact and safe. And then hold it up and extend out and pull back. Extending out, keeping the abs pulled in tight and back. Plank, pulling back in. Now push the elbows into the floor. Lift your face, lift your abs in. Nice and slowly moving. Feel the alignment of the body. Orientation in space. And feel the whole anterior chain. The whole anterior group of muscles working together in this functional movement pattern. We'll have four more, three, two, and one, and then release, and then up onto your hands to pull one arm underneath the other. Give yourself a nice twist to breathe into your rib cage, to release tension. 
And other side. And then come back and onto your right elbow. <clears throat> we'll have just the bottom foot going into the straps, into both straps. And we'll push up into the plank here. So we need a lot of glutes here to maintain stability. Reach the arm up and then get ready here with your leg pushing. And now we're going to lift and lower. Now press that bottom foot into the straps and feel the bottom side buttock really firm. You need that stability and this is very functional strength and stability. This is the strength that you need for every step you take. And if you run even more so, every impact when you land on one foot. We need strength, we need endurance there. We take a lot of steps. If we run even more so, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If this is not possible for you, make changes, make variations. If you need support with the other leg to push up here, that definitely is an option. Let's try the other side <clears throat> and do make adjustments so you can work on your level. Again, we're pushing into the TRX with that bottom leg, activating the bottom side glutes. And we're gonna push the top foot into the straps, but we're working a lot with that bottom side. Firm in that left buttock. pushing through your glutes, pushing through your side core while pulling the whole front in to be compact. So watch your rib cage. Also be aware of the bottom shoulder. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing. Now sit here, inhale. On your exhale, carve out, scoop out, and pull your abs in. Rule number one, as we work our abs, we need them to pull inwards and not press out. We'll have the heels in. Scoot closer so you have about a right angle in your knees and the arms are next to you. We want to get ready for some hip presses. <clears throat> so big glutes and hamstrings and we need the abs to connect in the front for the ribs not to just open up and for our spine to be in a neutral Stabilized on the way up and down. Inhale. On your exhale, lift your pelvis up. Push all the way up. So we want to lengthen through here, work through the glutes, but close the front. Close the abs, the space between the ribs and the pelvis. Let's try and do 20 of these. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have another ten. <coughs> nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, warning, we'll stay up on the last one, one, and then we're going to just pull the heels in, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then release down. Extend the legs, let them swing right and left. And we'll take the hands behind the head. Inhale here and exhale. Crunch up. Nice and deep, very neat in your abs. And then let's go into a bicycle crunch. And touch, and touch, and touch. Keep some resistance in the TRX so you want to press the heels down and push and pull against the resistance that you're creating for yourself. We want to pull the abs in while we twist and crunch. Connect across, and it's not just the arm, but it's the rib cage twisting, connecting to the opposite hip. And then stay on one side and we'll have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then release. The arms out to the side. Swing the legs. And then bring them back to the center. Take the arms back. And we're going to do some more glute work here, lifting the pelvis up, squeezing here, and then we'll open and close and open and close. So we'll use a lot of abductors, gluteus medius and minimus. The big glutes, the maximus, is holding us up. So the whole butt cheek is engaged, plus the hamstrings. And we need your core to stabilize. You want to draw in 10, 9, 8, 7, full range, 6, Five, four, three, two, and then hold it out and pulse it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then release and swing the legs again. And come back to the center. The arms are all the way up and overhead and inhale here. And then exhale, bend your knees and crunch. Maybe stay here 
or if it's available for you, exhale and roll up all the way and inhale, exhale, rolling back down. Now, mindful of your breath, you need your exhale and you need to be able to pull your abs in. And if this is not the case, if you feel like you're bulging, you're pressing out, you need to tone it down. So then maybe you'll just stay down here and you look down and you work on drawing the abdominal wall in until you can take it a little further or you're gonna help a little bit so you can really scoop and carve out here but don't make any compromises and compromises in terms of the form of your abs since this is a really important functional element too and not just about the looks One more time. And then let's all come up, holding on to the strap. We're gonna roll halfway down and we're gonna extend one and the other one. And again, time to carve out, to hollow out, to pull in. And maybe you want to do both legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring the soles of the feet together, stretch forward, Release your neck, release your shoulders, and release the hips. Filling the rib cage with air and space. And let those calm breaths infuse your body with calm to release stress and to feel good in your body in the moment. And then cross the legs so when you lean forward now, you get some more of a glute stretch. And then come back, crossing over one leg. You can hold on to the T-Rex and then open all the way. and release it for a moment. Open up one more time. So we have a spine twist and we have a glute stretch at the same time. And it should feel good. It should feel really nice. Switching legs. Open here. Glute stretch, spine twist, feeling good in your body. Release it for a moment. And then come back and into a cross-legged. Feel the sit bones. Ground them into the floor, into the earth. 
lift from the top of the head. The shoulders are nicely open, body is present. And you're present with the body, feeling grateful for all the movement, for all the aliveness, palms together, and then down through that center line. And you're all done. Thank you so much. Well done. And I hope to see you soon. Please like and subscribe if you want to keep on checking in. See you soon.